Hallelujah, glory be to God in the highest glory, glory be to God. We give God all the praise, hallelujah. We thank God for the beginning of another year. Glory to God, glory to God. We thank God, God is faithful. We give him praise forevermore. We give him praise forevermore. It's the beginning of a new day, it's the beginning of a new month, it's the beginning of a new year. I want to welcome us to a brand new year. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's been God. The Bible says, if it has not been God on our side, if it has not been the Lord who kept us, what we will have said. But we thank God for his faithfulness. Happy New Year, my people. Happy New Year, child of God. It's a new beginning. It's a new season. It's a new opportunity. I want to thank God for it. Hallelujah. We made it. Glory to God. We made it. God brought us thus far. And to him alone be all the glory. To him alone be all the glory. The horse is prepared indeed for the day of battle. But victory belongs to God. Hallelujah. I'm excited this morning for another wonderful opportunity that God has granted unto us to see another year. Another 365 days has been loaded into your bank account. It's our opportunity to make things work in the will and the purpose of God. Congratulations, dearly beloved, and happy new year. Amen. I believe God has given us a word for this year. I believe God has given us a word for this season. I believe the word of God is eternal. Hallelujah. I believe the word of God is for all season and for all time. Because God is eternal. His word is also eternal. And this morning, we're going to be looking at the scripture. Glory to God. The title is Go Forward. <laughs> I, want to, I want you to say to yourself, go forward. I want you to say to yourself, go forward. Any person you meet this today and throughout this year, please help me tell them, go forward. Go for it. Go forward. And that is our tight day topic of money showers this morning. I want to welcome us all. Our test is taken from the book of Exodus chapter 14. Exodus, a little background. God has rescued his people from the land of captivity in, in Egypt, and they were on their way to the promised land. How be it? They were faced with a challenge. The Red Sea was before them. Behind them were the armies of Pharaoh. And the Bible says, and they complained. They complained. They complained. In verse 11, Exodus chapter 14, verse 11, the Bible says, and they said unto Moses, because there were no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dead those with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? Is not this the word that we did tell you in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians. For it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness. Are you listening to this? And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom you see, you have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. And the Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. Verse 15, our text verse. And the Lord said unto Moses, Why criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. Hallelujah. This is what God is speaking to me to say to you today. Beloved, go forward. Beloved, go forward. I want you to know that life will always present three options to us. At every crossroad, at every season, at the beginning of anything, 
life will always present with us three options. Number one, to stay where you are, to remain stagnant. Number two, to go backward. And number three, to go forward. Three options. And I know that, I want you to know that 2022 is also presenting us with these three options, either to stay where you are and be stagnant, stand still, no forward movement, no backward movement, or the, the, the opportunity will be to go backward. And the last one is to go forward. I want you to know that these are the opportunities that 2022 is presented to you and I. What will be your response? What will be your response? God says to Moses, say to these people, speak unto them, speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. God's purpose, God's plan for you and I is for us to go forward. Backward never, we will not remain the same way we were in 2021, no way. We will not have the same mindset. No way. We will not be defeated by the same things that defeated us last year. God is saying to you and to me, go forward. Go forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wrote, I said, the children of Israel go to the Red Sea and it seemed as if they had gotten to the end of their journey. Behind them were the armies of Pharaoh. And before them was the Red Sea. They were so scared that they said, is it not better we had died in captivity in Egypt? Is it not better we had died? Is it not better we had remained and be servants and served the children of Egypt all the days of our lives? Why did you bring us here? And they murmured and they cried and God heard the cry of the people. And God's solution was go back. I mean, go forward. God's solution is go forward. Don't ever think about the past. Scripture says in Isaiah 43, think not of the past. Think not of the old things. So God says, go forward. And I realize that listen to this child of God, until you go forward, that mountains will not move. Many of us, we are waiting for the mountain to move before we go forward. But the principle of the kingdom is that as you go forward, the obstacles will move. But until you go forward, until you go forward, the obstacles will remain gigantic and intimidating. God says, go forward. Listen, he had impacted the Red Sea when he told them to go forward. Are you listening to what I'm saying? He hasn't removed the challenge when he told them to go forward. We can't continue to wait until the mountains move before we move. We move and the mountains move. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are not going to be backed down and be scared by the situations in front. No, as we go forward by faith, every hindrances, every challenges, every difficulties, we move because God says the Lord, go forward. God says the Lord, go forward. Hear what God is speaking to your spirit. Hear what God is speaking to you at this moment. God says the Lord, go forward. I wish I can shout it at the rooftop. I wish I can go to the mountain top and shout it. Help me to scream into the hearing of everyone around you. Say to them, go forward. God is saying, go forward. You have remained too long around this mountain. Go forward. You have been too scared of the enemy. Listen to this. The enemy you are scared of are probably scared of you. Until you take that step to go forward, you will never know what potentials that God has deposited in you. It's time to go forward. Hallelujah. The Bible says about the 10 lepers in the book of Luke, the Bible says as they went, they were cleansed. Jesus told them, 
They were still leprous when Jesus was having a conversation with them. They said, they cried to the master, have mercy on us. And, and Jesus said, go show yourself to the high priest. What a dangerous move. This year, you will be faced with some situations. And the only option left for you is to take the risk of going forward. Go forward. Go forward. The Bible says, and as they went, they didn't wait to be cleansed. But as they went forward, your miracle is in your going forward. Your next level of advancement, your next miracle is in your going forward. We can be going backward, thinking about the things of old. Think not of the old, think forward. Your mentality this year must change. Everything around you may be saying to the contrary, but God says to the children of Israel, and he's saying to you and I in verse 15 of Exodus chapter 14, he says, speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. Lord, let us wait. We want to see the, the, the Red Sea part before we go. No, God says, I don't walk like that. I'm speaking to somebody. Go and meet your architect right now. Draw that building plan right now. Go draw the building plan right now. Go draw the building plan right now. Pastor, you understand, I don't even have a plot of land. I said to you, go forward. Go draw that building plan right now. Go draw that business proposal right now. Go, 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 go forward. Go, go, go forward. You must take that step this morning. Hallelujah. The Bible says, tell the children of Israel, go forward. Now, forward we will go. Forward ever. This is a year of breaking forth. This is a year of bringing forth, and this is the year of break of bearing fruit. Are you hearing me? This is the year of breaking new ground. This is the year of breaking up your fallow ground. This is the year of breaking through. This is the year of bringing forth. This is the year of bearing fruit. You must go forward. The first thing is your mindset must change. You, before God can release his power, before the force of the Almighty can push you forward, you must first of all have a new mindset, the mindset of going forward, the mindset of victory, the mindset of conquering the land for the kingdom of God. You must go forward. That's the force in your academics, in your marriage, in your career. Choose to go forward. Choose to go forward. And I'm going to share some few things with us that will serve as ingredients for us to arm ourselves with as we go forward in the year 2022. You make up your mind and I'm going to go forward. Nothing is going to keep me down. Nothing is going to cause me back down. Nothing is going to make me give up. I am going forward. I am going upward. In the name of Jesus, glory to God, glory to God. So go forward this year, you must keep focus, F-O-C-U-S, you must keep focus. And we're going to be looking at these a mnemonics or acronyms. And the first one is keep your faith. So go forward this year. You must keep your faith. You must keep your faith. Faith is so important. Faith is that necessary ingredient that you need to move the mountain. God says, go forward. And faith says, yes, Lord. Forward, I will go. It does not look like it. The door looks closed. But because the Lord has said it, I am going to go forward this year. You must develop your faith. This year, you must keep your faith in the word of God. This year, there is no playing. This year, it, it deliberate attempt at studying the word of God and believing the word of God and confessing the word of God 
no matter what is happening to the contrary, we choose to believe what the word of God says. This year, we will keep our faith and we will keep fear out of our lives. To go forward this year, you must keep faith alive and keep fear out of your life. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23, say, let us hold fast the confession of our faith. Let us hold fast, hallelujah. Hold fast to your faith, hallelujah. Hold fast to your faith because, listen to this, we live in a time and age where the faith of many will fail. But beloved, I want to charge you that your faith fail not. That your faith fail not. The Lord Bible says, Jesus spoke to Peter. He said, Peter, the enemy has planned to save you like we, but I've prayed for you that your faith fail not. I don't care how many times you have failed in the past. I don't care how many failures you have recorded in your in 2021. I don't care how many projects you plan to execute, but you couldn't. I don't care how many exams you wrote and you failed. I don't care whether you are struggling in your marriage. I don't care whether you are struggling in ministry, but I have God's word for you today. Go forward. And the number one way to go forward is keep your faith. Hold fast to your faith. A drowning man will hold on to anything he can find with his hands. I need you to know, scripture says in Hebrews 10, 23, hold fast to your faith because the times are evolving and the only way to survive is to hold on to your faith. It's not time to play church. It's not time to play religion. It's not time to do sensationalism. This is the time to settle down and dig deep into the word of God. Have your conviction built on the word of God and run with it. Bible says we have the spirit of faith. We believe, therefore we speak. Hold on to your faith. Hold on to your faith. Learn to go forward in the name of Jesus. And the way to do it is keep your faith. Anything may happen, hallelujah. But if you keep your faith, faith is the one that overcomes. The Bible says, this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. First John chapter 5. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. This year, for you to go forward, you need the force of faith. You need what? The force of faith. You need the force of faith. As you advance towards your goal, every mountain will give way, but you need to advance by faith because he said so. Nevertheless, at your war, Peter had toyed day and night as a professional fisherman, had given up. Bible says Jesus met him washing his net and mending them. It's a sign of giving up. I've done my best. Listen to this. I agree with you. You might have done your best, but I know that your best is yet to come. Hold on to your faith, beloved. There'll be a lot of news. There'll be a lot of things happening. But don't lose your faith. Let me tell your neighbor, let me shout it. Wherever you have opportunity, don't lose your faith. Keep your faith. Keep your faith. Keep your faith strong. Hebrews 11 verse 13, the Bible says, These all died in faith. Talking about the heroes of faith. They all died in faith. They died in faith. They didn't fall out of faith. They didn't prefer to live in doubt. They didn't prefer to, to continue to live in the servitude of Egypt because of the Red Sea before them. No, they went forward by faith. There's a force of faith that nothing can stand. The mountains will move. The valleys will be leveled by the force of faith. Beloved, 
keep your faith. By all means, by all means, take kids to the word of God. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Saturate your spirit with the word of God. Fill your heart with the word of God. Meditate on the word of God. Meditate on the promises of God and not on the problems around. Uh, if I tell you that there won't be problems in 2022, I will be a false prophet. But I let you know that the promises of God precedes your problems. The promises of God precedes your problem. You can hold on to the promise of God and advance forward forcefully with the force of faith. Because this year, you must go forward. I said, this year, you must go forward. The second ingredient, the second thing you need in order to go forward this year is obedience. That is the O of the focus, obedience. This year, we must pay attention to divine instruction and obey them promptly. Can I repeat that? This year, we must pay attention to divine instruction, to be careful to obey them promptly, because this is what will keep you ahead, divine instruction. This word will put you ahead of your peers, divine instructions. Hallelujah. It's very important, the, the, the voice to which you pay attention. There will be many voices, and I let you to know this, that every voice leads to a destination. It good or bad, the voice you heed to will determine the direction your life will take and eventually your destiny, your destiny. Your destination is tied to the instruction you are listening to. But I encourage you, child of God, for you to go forward this morning, you must pay attention to divine instruction. You must seek to know what the Lord is saying. I speak to myself as I speak to you. God says to them, speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. Divine instruction must precede every act of faith. Did you hear me? Divine instruction must precede every act of faith for every obstacle to break down before you. So you must seek to know what God is saying. Hallelujah. You must seek to know, and not only to know, but to obey. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 8 to 9, the Bible says concerning Jesus, though he was a son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. And having been perfected, he became the author of his standard salvation to all who obey him. Did you hear that? Obedience is key. Obedience is key in going forward this year. We must seek to obey. We must seek to listen to what God is saying from his world by the inner witness, by that still small voice, by the voice of the Holy Spirit, by revelation of every kind. We must seek the instructions of the Almighty and we must seek to obey them. Bible says in Isaiah chapter 1 that if you be willing and obedient, did you hear that? If you be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. If you be willing and obedient, willingness to seek the face of God and willingness to obey is key to going forward this year. Hallelujah. It's so important. Listen to this. We might have made a lot of sacrifices in the past, but obedience is superior to sacrifice because what you lost by, by disobedience, you cannot gain by sacrifice. Hallelujah. In 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 22, Bible says, so Samuel said, as the Lord has great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, as in obeying the voice of the Lord, behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to heed than the fat of rams. To obey 
this year, we must make up our mind. Shepherd of my soul, I give you full control. Wherever you lead, I will follow. We drop our will at the altar of the Most High and say, God, lead. Lead, oh God. Lead, oh God. For us to go forward this year and enliven destiny, we must trust God's leading and obey it. If you are looking at something to be white and the Lord says it's black, you must just trust him and know it's black. Hallelujah. If the Lord says something and the nature is saying something else, you better believe the one who made the nature in the first place. Hallelujah. Peter said, nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net, the Savior. The miracle worker was there. But until Peter obeyed and led down the net, there was no cash of fish. Hey, my God, sometimes we need to suspend our intellectual capabilities. We need to suspend our common sense and, and align to divine sense this year. Peter would have said, Master, don't let us waste our time. Maybe we'll find fish in another river. God, I feel the Lord put a word in my heart for somebody. Don't, don't abandon that which you started. <laughs> don't abandon. It looks as if you have been breaking the ground. You have been breaking the ground and watering the ground. It's as if nothing is germinating. It's as if no fruit is coming. Hear the word of God, child of God. Don't stop. Don't abandon that because God is in need. I don't know who I just talked to. Whatever it is that you are doing at the moment, that you are the verge of giving up, you are the verge of throwing the tower. God is speaking to my heart to say to you, don't abandon it because therein lies your miracle. Therein lies your breakthrough. Keep at it. Keep at it. Keep at it in the name of Jesus. Go forward, keep doing it, keep doing it, because very soon your breakthrough is around the corner. Don't give up on that project. Don't give up on that assignment you began to do, because I speak by the Spirit of God, and I know I have the Spirit of God. Your breakthrough is on the way. Don't give up. Go forward with it. Obey divine instruction, and the Lord himself will ensure that everything that stands between you and your destiny will be broken. You will go forward this year in the name of Jesus. Oh, time is up this morning. Oh, my God. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. I like to quickly say this last thing. Be consistent. Yes, yes, yes. Be consistent. Whatever it is that your hand finds to do this year, be consistent with it. Don't jump from pillar to post. Don't jump from one thing to another. Be consistent in what you are doing. And very soon, by the force of faith, by the force of the Most High God, you will break through. In Luke chapter 9, verse 62, Jesus said, No one, listen, without exception, no one having put his hands to the plow and looking back his feet for the kingdom of God. No one, no one having put his hands to the plow and looking back his feet for the kingdom of God. To be consistent means to act or to behave in the same over time, especially so as to be fair or accurate. To go forward in life requires consistency consistent push continue to push continue to push push long enough and with the power of the most high supporting you you will definitely break through you will definitely go forward i need you to know that god loves you i need to know that god has gone ahead of you in 2022 is the alpha and the omega before 2022 began he was there and he's already at the end of 2022 is waiting for you at the finish line. Is waiting for you to breast the tape. Is speaking to you today, child of God. Go forward.
child of God, go forward. Let nothing keep you in the same spot. Let nothing push you backward. You must go forward. Let's begin to pray this morning. I want you to say in the name of Jesus, by faith, I am going forward. Hallelujah, I am going forward. I'm going forward. I'm breaking new grounds. I'm bearing fruits in the name of Jesus. Everything that had me down is broken. I am going forward. I'm forward, I will go. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this new year. We thank you for a new opportunity. We thank you for your word that has gone forth. We go forward by your word. We bear precious seed. We are sowing. We are bearing fruit. We are breaking new grounds in ministry, in life, in business, in finances, in marriage, in academics, in whatever career that you have put on in. We will go forward. Thank you, Heavenly Father. To you be all the glory. For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Beloved, it's time to go forward. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I will thank you for keeping faith with us, child of God. We thank God. I know a festive period. A lot of people are in festivity. But thank you for joining us this morning. I want you to know that you will go forward. You will go forward on every side. Bolalaniyo, thank you all the way from Uganda. Happy New Year to you, my sister. Same to you, sir. God bless you. It's your season to go forward. It's your season to go forward. Yeah. In the name Amen. 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 Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's your season to go forward. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Amen. God bless you too. Amen. Thank you. Dr. Dario Lawyer, thank you so much for joining us. You will go forward in the name of Jesus. Nothing is going to stop you. I don't know what you have struggled with in 2021, but the Lord will push you forward. You will go forward in the name of Jesus. Happy New Year, my brother. All right, my wife, Kemi Toby, thank you so much for connecting. Thank you for all you do for the kingdom. I want to say Happy New Year again to you publicly. <laughs> <laughs> happy God bless New Year, you. Go forward in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We give God praise this morning. I do have a wonderful, wonderful celebration. Go forward because the Lord has gone. God hey, bless happy you. New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.